This video is brought to you by Pillar Performance, fueling optimal performance and recovery. I've personally found the Triple Magnesium Blend by Pillar Performance to be hugely beneficial to my quality of sleep, falling asleep faster and staying asleep throughout the night. And everyone I've recommended this product to more or less has found the same benefits as well. If you'd like to try Pillar Performance Triple Magnesium, you can score 15% off your first order and also score a free micro shaker as well by using the code SWEAT15 at checkout. This video is also brought to you by Top for Running, one of Europe's fastest growing running retail stores that stock all the top brands, all the latest models at the lowest prices. And you can score an even further discount off the already great prices at Top for Running by using the code SWEATELITE at checkout. You can find the link in the description of this video or at the top of the screen right now. <laughs> Absolute opposite of Kenya where you get it for 150. Yeah. You don't take it. You can't if you're tired from something like that. Because I look not as important yet. Coach, how's, uh, how's things going in the training camp with the, with the Irish lads? Pretty good. Yeah. So, the key workout of the camp was last Wednesday down yep. in Kia Venet. That went really well. Yep. And today's session, really just back to some bread and butter basics, some threshold stuff. So, do 10 by a K off 200 meter jog recovery. Yep. Um, and planning to race next weekend. But um, camp has gone well. Yep. And uh, these, these two guys, Dara's obviously preparing for some track races. Stephen's uh, preparing for a marathon. Yeah, but, so Steve, uh, yeah. Stephen's preparing, yeah, he's in the early stages of his prep for Berlin. Yep. So he joined Dara for a couple of sessions over the last few weeks, and then Dara's getting ready for a big 5K next weekend. Hopefully, get the qualifying for Budapest for the world. And then obviously Irish Nationals are two weeks after that. Okay. And then hopefully all going to plan through the past in August. Awesome. Awesome. And at the moment uh, with the rankings, what do you think uh, Dara will need to run? It's probably a bit difficult to say now, but what will he hopefully uh, need to get into the team? So at the moment, he's on the verge of the rankings. Yep. And so obviously he's got to get inside the rankings, which you need a sub-1320 probably to do that. Okay. And also be Athletic Ireland B standard. He's 1322, so he's got to hit that mark anyway. Sure. Um, and that should be enough, hopefully, okay. to get him across the line. Okay. And so, lastly, before we go back to the track, we're on the warm up now in beautiful St. Moritz. The session you said is 10 by a K, and it's a threshold. So, are we looking for a certain pace or a certain lactate measurement? So, a certain lactate, we'll take lactates after probably three, six, and ten reps. Okay. And we're looking for around about two millimole. Two millimole. So, pretty controlled. Okay. And at this sort of altitude, 1800 meters, what, I, what, while I understand pace is probably super important today, how much will they be affected by this altitude in terms of pace? How do you sort of see that uh, compared to doing a, sea, a workout like this at sea level? Yeah, so the paces are obviously a little bit slower. Yeah. They wouldn't be as slow here as, say, we go to Kenya as well quite a bit. The altitude is much higher in Kenya. So as was today, we're probably looking at around about 3 or 5 per kilometre. Okay. Um, that would be probably 3 minutes a K. Yep. at sea level sure. and then if you're at slightly higher altitude you're somewhere like 10 you might be closer to 210 so sure. and that's what we're looking for today last question <laughs> in the warm up uh, what's the recovery 200 meter job 200 so meter about job. 50 60 seconds okay. Okay. i don't know well, the shoes that are that up, like, you know. yeah. this is the under armor velocity elite yeah okay <laughs> whoosh they're about a the problem is they're about a year old so they're, they're a bit beat up, like is what I'd say, but that's fine. Are they a carbon plate racing shoe? Or? Yeah, so this yeah. is, this is the, this shoe just, I guess just came out, Sharon wore it to uh, win the New York Marathon. Um, I think in probably about a week I'm getting like a different version because prototypes come out and that'll be fun to try, but yeah, this is a, this is an awesome shoe. And how's the training camp been in general? You're uh, slowly starting to build up to yeah. Berlin. I guess you've got about yeah. three months now, so plenty of time. Yeah, so probably about 10, 11 weeks or something like that now. This has been probably third, now one, two, yeah, third altitude camp of the year. And like now I'll train more for Berlin, but since January I've been training for Berlin. Yeah, sure. So I took probably like two months off so your fitness goes down and now it's just been since January building it 
almost back their position to be able to run fast. In like February, March, it wasn't looking like you could go and run sub 210. Now, as things have progressed, it looks more and more likely that at the very least you're in a position to possibly run sub 210. Whereas in February, March, it was that you're not going to run 210. <laughs> Makes sense. And you said before something interesting that uh, you said you start the specific work about maybe six, seven weeks out. Yeah. Is that something that you've learned over the years to maybe do it a little bit closer to the race, or yeah, is that what you've always done? I think there's there's two things in that. One is you're still specifically during the other periods of training trying to move the key components of marathon forward. Call it like speed at marathon effort, and then probably with like six, seven weeks to go is when. I've sort of learned as my sweet spot for extending how long I can run at that marathon effort. So you're constantly, constantly trying to move the overall system forward, but it only takes with some athletes, yeah, six, seven weeks to now I can run at that effort for a lot longer. And if you overdo that, then you get tired. You underdo it, you won't get the finish line. Makes so it's sense. learning a fine balance of how much is enough and not doing too much. Makes sense. Find five strips. How are you like doing, Dara? Everything mine. been good on the training camp so far? Yeah, it's been a pretty solid camp. Yeah? Just been doing basically most of my training with Scully and we've just been working together and it's gone it's gone really well. Yeah. Um, it's kind of finished probably one of the best players when I came. Kind of had a pretty shaky start to the summer, but uh, I think like kind of having just three weeks of altitude was what I needed. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah, been here like 19 days now and I definitely start feeling a lot more like myself, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, sometimes that's kind of the only cure, you know, just come up here and just like, just focus on training for three weeks and yeah. just put in kind of big mileage block and stuff like that. So, no, it's been good. So, hoping not to get the rewards in the next couple of weeks. Perfect. Coach said the other day down in, uh, at sea level at Chiavenna, uh, you did a pretty good workout. What was, uh, what was the workout? Yeah, it was solid. Like, um, we just did two by a mile threshold just around five minutes. Um, and then we did eight sixes off a minute in about 135, 136. Nice. Um, and then a few quicker twos at the end in kind of 25, 26. But it was good, like, I suppose, like, it's a type of session like you can always like, do it, but it's kind of more like how you're feeling, what the lactates are at. And um, yeah, I've managed to keep my lactates relatively controlled. They were kind of like, kind of like in the mid fives for the first half and then <laughs> up into kind of like the high sixes, low sevens towards the end, which is like decent enough for me. I've, I've done that type of session a lot of times. and. Uh, it's probably the best that I've ever felt lattes were kind of similar to what they've been before. And okay. That's all I'm really looking for because I think uh, I think kind of around the time like early May was probably when I was kind of in my best shape. But <clears throat> just ran into a few illnesses and just uh, and like inconsistency inconsistency because of that. Yeah. So it was actually to be honest for me it was more a case of just trying to get back to where I was like two months ago as opposed to trying to reach these new heights around. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure, sure. Um, so that's basically what this camp has been about, and I think I've got pretty close to it anyway. So, but as I said. We'll know more like next week, you know. Yeah, cool. All right, let's yeah. get into the workout. Take your boys and what rep do you want to start at? Uh, I might let you start. You know me, I'll probably go fucking 60 and first that, no problem. 74. Right, well, do you want me to uh, I'll go with you and I'll shout the split so you do, yeah? take a bit of the thinking yeah. out of it. Um, so just keep an eye on the first. Like, you're looking for 305s here. Yeah. There's no need to be going any quicker. So 74s, sure. this is just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let these guys go and then we'll jump in behind that second yep. group. 37. Easy. Just watch the inside lane there. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ready?
You'll probably find you're clearing a bit more as this goes on. Yeah. But we don't need to go any quicker than I think it's just a bit warmer. My heart rate's a little bit higher. To be honest, my hair is pretty low. But... Uh. What was the left hair ready? 2.5. Nice. Hopefully it gets down closer to 2 by the end. Mm. 2.9. Yeah. And you've been around 3 or 3, 3 or 4? Yeah. Okay. It'll probably come down a bit. Two, yeah. So let's just try and dial it back a little bit to 3 or 5, 3 or 6 maybe? What were you doing today? Yeah, 2.9. That's why it's good when there's two people there. Yeah. First rep, our rib is the same as Kiavena, but instead of 1.8, like 2.8, you yeah. know. Not too bad. Yeah. Just a bit hot. Looking smooth? Yeah, I think it's good though. Yeah. yeah. Two point three, yeah. So yeah. it's beginning to come down, which is kind of what we'd expect, because they've done a hard session on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. So, so sometimes you find the next threshold session, it's their tie and gradually begins to come down. So we'd like to see a two point one on the, the last reading. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> we'd love that. I'll find that in two seconds. Three point one. Stay the same. All right. Let's go. Seconds up at 200, and then bang on to four, and then two seconds up again. Oh, you're not starting to lose the spirit you said. I'm like, <laughs> rep two, I was dropped. Spinning, have we pulled back the pace or stuff? No, too? pretty much still three or four. <laughs> yeah, we've been about a half a second range, so good. They're working well together, very consistent. Yeah, yeah. good when you've got two guys whose thresholds are kind of similar levels and they can work well yeah. together. So, yeah, are you paying attention to the heart rate? We'll look at the heart rate data afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but generally, you find lactate, pace, heart rate, they're all correlating back to the same thing. There shouldn't really a huge, be a huge anomaly between them, but um. And they've done a session like this up here already about two weeks ago. Yeah. So the number's going to power it back well to that. Okay, 
Is that nine or ten? Ten. Ten done. Good job. One fifty four. Went for like probably the last six five I would say was it was what it was kinda of maxing it. That's good. But like the longer you go on, the more time I was sitting at that was there. That was good. Yeah it was, yeah, I was happy to have it. We'll see what this is now. Show me what it's good enough. Two point one. Two point one. Yes. Nice. Came <laughs> down throughout the workout. Well done. Started two point six, was it? Two point five. Two point five. Two point three and two point one. Which nice. is kind of what I said to you. Yeah. That you, if the threshold is right, you should be clearing at that. Yep. And the fact that you've done the harder workout on Wednesday, yeah. you usually find that ability to shut lack of his compromise for a few days afterwards. So. In theory, that's what we were looking for. Yeah, it perfect. doesn't always play out like that. Yeah. Well, I think, to be honest, really, I started feeling better. You felt good there as well. The longer it went on as well, yeah. though. The first kind of two, I did feel a bit like. I felt fine, but I could tell it wasn't going to be really low. Yeah. What's your sort of volume looking like in a week like this? Um, kind of just hovering around 100 miles, really. Yeah. Like, depends. Since I came up here, I think I was like 100 maybe for the first week. Yeah. A tiny bit higher the next week, like 102 or something. And then this week's like a tiny bit down, maybe like, well. So I think it's going to be 99. Yeah. Um, but it's like, yeah, most of the time, like, I like to keep like, the volume up kind of between races and stuff. So, so like, for any race of a distance, like, shorter than 5k, we do like, uh, like, intervals the next race, we do like f four or five by 2k at threshold. So it kind of just means that, like, you kind of roll straight into the week, if you know what I mean. So we might race on a Saturday night, do that Sunday, and then you're kind of into a normal week again. It kind of just, Brings your legs from like race tiredness back to like training tiredness. That yeah, you can sure. just like keep going on. So I, I don't think it doesn't really suit me to like drop the mileage too much anyway. I just seem to perform better and just like Keeping feel, it feel better when I keep it pretty high. So yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, that was good. Like to be fair, if I'd stayed at 2.5 and risen to 3, <coughs> I would have been fairly pissed off because uh, that wouldn't have been great. But yeah. that's this kind of 10 by K at like 1800 meters altitude. I've done it a lot now. Like done it here probably five times in the last like year and then same probably three or four times in Fontremont as well which is the same altitude that's probably the best best numbers I'd say that I've probably gotten so yeah and heart rate wise all good as well yeah heart rate was good I think I only maxed it 154 I was kind of oh wow that's yeah, that's well I had quite low heart rate anyway but, um, okay. but yeah it was keeping it fairly chill probably averaging about 150 for the reps and kind of hitting like 154 for the last like 200 but Having Scully and Emmett and yourself on the bike was a big help as well. Yeah. Big difference with doing a solo. You know? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Great session. Like, yeah, it's Fingers good. Fingers crossed for a good workout next. A good sorry race next week. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'll be the first one, one since like one March. So oh, well, yeah, yeah, things go. Yeah. Hopefully. And then so one six seven, which is yeah, two point seven is about right. Probably reflective of the conditions as well. Yeah. That's so it was two point seven on mine and then two point six on yeah. yours. Was that for the last row? Yeah. You, were, you were kind of coming down as well, weren't you? Yeah, I, I just said that Emmett, I think, like I did that like steadier run last night, but I, yeah. that's not it. I think it's more that you're used to doing those hundreds. Like, what do we run, 13 and a half or 100 at the rep I did with you? Not rep, but What's it? six oh, times 100 yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of not, I don't really do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, like, I have, it gives my legs this little bit of a between Wednesday and, yeah, that felt a little bit harder than when we did it the last time mm. but we did See, Wednesday was a bit harder for you oh much it? harder so I went up to nine and a bit so, so it's gonna take a few it's days a bit more of a hangover from that yeah. but days like today it doesn't really what would have been a disaster is if we stayed at 304 and I drifted to four or five yeah. not a disaster because like I'm, I lost fitness, it's a disaster because you didn't make a call to back up. Yeah. That's the disaster. You came here to work at a relevant intensity and pretty much did. That's probably the bottom end of my like anaerobic threshold or LT2 or whatever. I think it's like 2.7 to 3.1 or something. Today's proof that Elise 
distance running training is boring though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like, we, just, we got overtaken is, by everybody on the track. Most boring videos of the week, of the month. Overtaken by, <laughs> I know, like, Wednesday we are smashing 600s in Kiavena, and here we are popping around Simmerit's track. The last session I did on Sweat Elite was the cutdown in Kenya. Yeah, like Angus probably, filmed it. Probably hardest session I've done in like two years. That was yeah. a lot sexier than 10 by a K in yeah. 304. But this is what you're doing. Like, yeah, but yet, yeah, like, this is what everybody <laughs> should do. Like, ignore the sexy stuff and start doing more of this. Very like, true. Very true. bullshit stuff. And <laughs> But the bullshit stuff's going to make you very, very good. Yeah. There's it's a, probably the biggest mistake that a lot of athletes make is they don't do enough of this sort of stuff. Yeah. It's not actually controlled. Yeah. yeah. But this when is, you this see is the bread and butter stuff. This is yeah. what's... When you see yeah, Jakob doing it five times a week up here, kind of. We ran past one of the most boring athletes in the world, but he's not boring when he's in the Diamond League final winning by <laughs> or setting world records. Yeah. But he has no problem coming out here doing the boring stuff. <laughs> he, he's just got his boring stuff to very fun stuff. I just said that to Darren, the warm up, like how fun must it be when you get your the most boring slow threshold stuff to actually most people's fast stuff. <laughs> That's a cool day. <laughs> You're banging out 66s or 68s and keeping it pretty damn low. Appreciate right, you guys Dara, having me out. You got me there, buddy. Thanks so much for letting me join.